you just say the Kundalini has risen, it is not coming up, it's just going there, as if you have become an instrument of some power which is flowing through you. And this is how we become one with that. And all our karmas dissolve into a karma. Karmas are only the effect of our false idea of our ego. When there is no ego, where are the karmas going to be? If there is no one who is doing, the doer is lost, then who is going to do the karmas? And who is going to take the load of the karmas upon themselves? You as ego disappear and there is no effect of your karmas. All finished. All that was when one Mr. Ego was there. When Mr. Ego has gone, all liabilities have gone with him. Now we have become the Self, the Atma, and when we have become the Atma, then we are one with that universal Being and He is making us do everything. See, you are born from a mother, right? You are not born hanging from a tree or not, neither you are thrown from the heavens and suddenly you are found born on this earth. You are born from a mother in her womb. Her blood flows into you for nine months. You live upon her, she, you are a part and parcel of her being for nine months, which is the most important time of your life. Now, she is there to give you first the sense of security. In a mother's womb, a child feels secure. If the mother is upset, it has an effect on the child. If there's something wrong with her, then that is affected on the child, in the sense physically, because such a deep relationship exists between you and your mother that I'll have to write a book to tell you how much it is deep. But the, uh, within us, see, the power of Kundalini is the power of a mother and not of a father. The father is the witness as a spirit and the mother is the Kundalini and the Kundalini has to rise, it's important. But it is an actual thing because if you are not good with your mother, your left side is weak, you have seen it on the vibration. Whatever I say, you can see it on your vibration. You will be the loser. So forgive her. Know that she has given you words. Maybe if she has been harsh to you, angry with you or done something, forgive her. And it is a chakra within you, you know, where it touches the point uh, of void, uh, where the left side touches the point of void. That is a center, a very important center for a mother, which helps. And do you know, it is very near the center of existence, because your existence depends on <coughs> vibrations as I said that, it's the manifestation of the Spirit. But it is a very vague way of expressing it. Now see, there's a, a nice flame before me. This candle has been enlightened. Now what does it do? It gives you light. All right. How does it give you light? By throwing light to us, by emitting light. It is the emitting of pulsation from the Self. So when the Spirit pulsates in your conscious mind, in your conscious mind, then it is a Self-realized personality. But in the unconscious it is there all the time working. Actually the Spirit itself comes out. It's a, as big as your thumb is. The more we clean our heart, which represents all the seven chakras we there are seven auras around our heart. All the seven chakras which are here in the Sahasrara, the seats are there and all the seven chakras that are within us. I have seven auras around our heart. And when all of them are clear cut, absolutely clear, pure, integrated, then a complete emission starts of those vibrations. They are much more than I can explain. And for your information, it is only He does everything. So only the vibrations work out. But these 
vibrations only which connect you with all pervading power which are part of the pervading power these pervading almighty eyes you can say they are the ones who look after each and every minute thing in this whole world right? you have seen how vibrations work on people how they dissolve even the thick bones and how they bring out the kundalini here and how you see the softness on your head he is the enjoyer he is the doer you are just in between to see we have chosen our parents oh we have definitely chosen uh, i mean most of you have because mediocre people so the primitive souls are they are not so particular as to who is their father or mother and they also sometimes choose horribly primitive people as their parents and those who are very advanced always choose and you being the seekers you know what's who chosen your parents so many of you have had parents because i would say of your previous relationships with them uh, you see you might have seen that if you attach to some people like a mother sometimes like a father in this lifetime also you might be feeling that way maybe she is the mother of your friend or someone and you thought that she was a very good mother so you had what that mother all right now when you see her you get frightened of her so you will not ask that time now we'll ask for another time so better know about one completely by loving that person then you are finished with one time you get another time then okay. yeah i want to ask what is the function of that left swadhisthana and us we catching all we can and also left swadhisthana is caught by people who indulge in an unauthorized way after all you are the instrument so you are the indicator you just indicate if you could just learn how to be a witness to that indication you will never feel you catch now there are people who get attached to someone to one person or to the family to their children to their relations It's an individual journey towards God when you meditate, and when you reach there, when you become connected. Before that, it's an absolute individual journey within. It's absolutely individual journey. You should be able to see this: that in this journey, nobody is your relation. Nobody is your brother. Nobody is your friend. You are absolutely alone. Absolutely alone. You have to move alone within yourself. Don't hate anyone. Don't be irresponsible. But in meditative mood, you are alone. No one exists there. You alone. And once you enter into that ocean. And the whole world becomes your family. The whole world is your own manifestation. All the children become your children, and you treat all the people with equal understanding. The whole expansion takes place when you enter inside your spirit and see start thing through the eyes of the spirit. With such calm, such peace, such bliss exists within you. You have to be ready for that journey. that journey <coughs> is alone in your meditativeness and the more you find something in your meditation the more you want to go and distribute it to others that has to be. if that does not come into you then it has not worked out there's no purity there's some sort of a bias in that individual pursuit whatever you find you want to enjoy it with others you want to give it to others this is the sign of a person who has been really meditative the one who is meditative and has not been able to distribute what he has found is cheating himself and cheating others as well depth you achieve within yourself spreads all over it is such a action as a reaction